Hello everyone, my name is Brian Wilson and I'm the awards manager for the AVCA. With award nominations opening next week, October 9th, I want to take this opportunity to create this short video that will visually show you the steps to complete an online nomination for your athletes. Uh, now first off, you should know there are two main steps that must be completed during the nomination window in order for your athletes to be considered for Under Armour All-American. Uh, the first step is to complete a nomination at avca.org. Now, as you can see on my screen, I'm currently on the awards nomination page uh, for Under Armour All-America. To find this page, all you need to do is visit avca.org and hover over the awards tab here at the top, click on award nominations, and from there you can find the link for the Under Armour All-America page. Um, so now once the nomination window has opened on October 9th, the nomination page will feature this link here at the top to complete your online nominations. So let's go ahead and click that. Next, you'll be asked to enter your AVCA login information or to access the nomination form. Uh, an active AVCA high school membership is required in order to nominate your athletes. So I'm going to log in here as myself. And here you can see this is our online nomination portal. Uh, the one you're seeing right now is actually the admin section of the portal, which is what I have access to. When you log in, all you will see is this information at the top with your name and school included, and then this link to enter a new nomination. So uh, we'll go ahead and test out the nomination link and make sure everything's working. And from here, you're going to search your name. So I'm just going to search a coach that I'm more familiar with. Ron Cordes here in Assumption High School in Louisville, Kentucky. And here is our one page nomination form for your athletes. Uh, some of the information will be filled in automatically here at the top. And from there, you're just simply going to type in the information for your athletes. So here's some just test information to go along with the video. And here's actually a new thing that we added this year. We now are accepting nomination video links to be included on the nomination form. So if there's a YouTube file or some other video file that's being hosted currently online, we ask if you have the option to link that here. If there's a password to view it, you can also include it here. Um, so as you fill this information out, um, here at the bottom you can also include any significant awards, achievements that the athlete has received during their high school play. So once it's all completed, you'll come down here, you'll click Submit Nomination, and at that point, this half of the nomination process will be completed. Now, I did tell you there was a second part, and that part is the nomination at maxpreps.com. So we're going to go down here, and we're now at maxpreps.com. This is their volleyball link. They have actually given me a dev site in order to show off kind of the online nomination process. So when you're here, you're going to log in, hover over your name, and from there you're going to click on your high school. This is the test site they've given me access to. And here you can see this is the team administration section of maxpreps.com. This is where you would upload uh, your roster, your schedule, and statistics for your athletes. Now, in order to complete an online nomination, your athletes' match-by-match -match stats must be uploaded to maxpreps.com. So that process would need to take place first. And then once that's completed, you're going to hover over this AVCA award nomination link. Once you click that, it's going to ask you if you're an AVCA member, assuming that's true, so click yes. And there are a couple of nomination requirements associated with the stats. The site's actually going to test that automatically. Uh, one of those being that your athlete must be in her senior year, that the stats are included, and that the athlete has played in two-thirds of the total team sets played. If any of these things are not correct, athletes won't be eligible to be nominated. So as you can see, in this test version, we do have one athlete included that is eligible since she is a senior and she's played in enough sets. So what I would do is I would come down here and I would type in some information, say that she perhaps you know, set the record for kills from the state.
And once I filled out as much information as I'd like, I will then click nominate to nominate the athlete. But before I do that, I'll just show you down here. The list will show you ineligible athletes from your team that from the roster included on your website or on Max Preps. We see here that some athletes aren't seniors, some athletes aren't played enough sets. So it's just another way of double checking. So if you have a situation where you believe an athlete should be eligible, but for uh, it, it is included down here, there might be an issue with the stats that are currently uploaded. And if you want to contact us, we can certainly look into the issue. So we'll click nominate and ask you if you're sure. So we'll click nominate again. And then we can see here at the top the athlete has been successfully nominated. And here we can see it again nominated with the achievement and honors that I've included. Um, so that is a quick overview of the nomination process for Under Armour All-American. If you have any questions, please contact me using my email address in the video description below. I've also included my contact at Max Preps in case you have any specific questions for their website. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and good luck the rest of the season.